In this video I'll be explaining how to set up for LPS using a resection and backsite method using magnet field version 5. From the main screen of magnet field we'll go into configure and then survey and then we'll just edit the optical configuration. In this case we're using the GT LPS version so ensure that the type is robotic and we'll hit next and we'll pick the instrument model of GT1000 from the Topcon manufacturer list and hit next. We will connect to the instrument using Bluetooth and we'll hit next. On the search and track screen, ensure that the tracking measurement is set to fixed averaging. If it's set to standard, this will decrease the tracking ability of the GT when tracking the graders prism. The fixed averaging will give better results due to better vertical angle readings and this resulting in better height readouts from the instrument. We can hit next and go to the survey settings and ensure that we're using direct, just single face readings and hit next. On the next screen, we can pick the prisms and the EDM type that we're using, ensure that you would pick the correct prism type for your backsight setup. If you are using a tripod with a backsight target, this will typically be a zero constant. Or if you're using a 360 prism on a survey rover pole, this will typically be an ATP1 360 prism. And then you can hit next. And on the survey settings for the EDM mode, you can select between fine, rapid or tracking. In this case we have selected rapid for both and this will give you good accurate readings to both the prism for your back sight and also on the grader. All of the other settings in the total station config can be left as default as none of these settings are being used during the resection or back sight routine. So you can just go through to the end if you want to change anything and then just hit green tick at the end to accept any changes once back on the main screen of magnet field we can go back into configure and then coordinate system this is where you need to ensure that the projection datum and geode match the design data that has been given and to be used in the grader and this will need to be the same in 3dmc as well on the machine to ensure that your instrument has been set up in the correct location to guide the grader onto the design whether that be using a a grid system or a localization and once back on the main screen of magnet field we will go into edit and then points as a minimum you need two points for a resection and two points for a back sight it is ideal to have three or more for a resection routine and now back on the magnet field home screen we can go into connect ensure we have highlighted device type as optical and hit the connect button and this will connect into our total station if you haven't connected to it before, you will just pick the total station serial number from the Bluetooth list and hit connect. To do a resection from the main screen, we go into setup and then resection. And then under the magnet symbol, we can go into options. And this is where you can change the resection calculation method and your tolerance settings. And then we can go back into the magnet symbol and under setup, from the magnet symbol we need to ensure that there is a tick next to setup instrument for 3dmc if there is no tick then the occupation information that has been calculated at the end of a resection or back site will not be sent back to the instrument itself and 3dmc cannot use this to define where the grader has to go. So this is paramount in ensuring that this has a green tick next to it. So magnet field can send the occupation data back to the instrument for 3DMC to use. Once you have ticked this once, this will be remembered in the software until the user comes into the magnet symbol setup and unticks setup for 3DMC. This is for the resection and the backsite routine. Next to Occupy, we can give this a new name and give this a code if needed. And the instrument height you can leave as zero. The only time you need to put in an instrument height is if you're setting up over a point that you want to establish as a permanent control point. You would need to measure from the total station mark down to the ground point to give you the ground coordinate. Otherwise, you can leave it as zero and the coordinate calculator will be the current position of the total station. 
once this is all entered then you can hit next and then we can type in our prism pole height and we will pick the control point that we are occupying from the list or from the map and you have two tick boxes one used for horizontal and one used for vertical in this case we're using the control point for both vertical and horizontal position you might have a case where you only have a benchmark for height so you will only tick use vertical and you might have another point only with good horizontal coordinates and you'll tick use horizontal. For magnet you need to have a minimum of two points using the horizontal and vertical for it to be able to calculate a resection coordinate. In the top right hand corner you can hit EDM if you want to quickly change between prism modes or the EDM type and you can hit the cog symbol if you want to change a measurement method or change the prism type that you were shooting to. And we can simply hit the lock symbol to lock onto our prism. And once we're locked onto the prism, we can then simply hit the measure button and take a reading to our first control point. Once the measurement has been taken, we can pick the next point from the list. And once we are over the point, and again use for horizontal or vertical as required, changing the pole height or tripod height as required, and we can hit the measure button again to record the observation. You will now get a warning appear on your screen. This warning is informing the user to not move the instrument before clicking accept because 3DMC requires the additional communication with the instrument. I recommend leaving the do not show again box unticked in case you have another user who hasn't operated this equipment before. They need to know this warning is very important so leave it unticked. And then you can simply hit the close and now you can look at the resection results. Using the scroll bar left and right you can see the residuals for the angles and the distance for each observation point and whether it's been used for horizontal or vertical and you can see the residual error for east, north and height and also the scale factor that has been estimated but not necessarily used depending on what was selected in the resection options. Ensure you tick the point to be used as a backsite for 3DMC on the left hand side this might not necessarily be the first point you observed, it might be the last. Ideally it would be the measurement with the longest distance uh, to give you the best geometry. So tick this and then you can hit accept. On this setup for 3DMC screen you'll see it's telling the user to turn to the point that was selected for the back site and to re-observe this to set the back site for 3DMC. Once you are over it you can hit accept and now the instrument will have stopped tracking the prism or the tripod backside target and now will be ready to turn towards a grader and to track the grader's prism ready to commence grading or operation. All the user needs to do is from the main screen of magnet field go connect disconnect and they can hit the program button on the instrument itself and select external link mode and now the instrument is ready for use with the 3DMC system inside the grader. I will now show you how to set up the instrument using the backsite routine. So from the main screen of magnet field we will go into setup and then backsite. Again we go into the magnet symbol and ensure that there is a tick next to set up for 3DMC and again if there is no tick this won't be sending the correct information back to the machine. And we can pick our occupation point from the list or the map. And we can enter in an instrument height and select the scale if required. And we can select the backside point from the map or the list. Or you can set an azimuth by hitting the point button and it will change the azimuth. And you can type in a desired azimuth. Again, into the backside target height. If you tick the observation info box down the bottom and when you hit next, you will be prompted for temperature and pressure settings to be applied to the instrument. If you don't have it ticked, you won't be prompted to type in these settings. It is recommended to type these in depending on the day, in the morning, and then if in the afternoon again, it is recommended to have this ticked on and apply different temperature and pressure settings to be applied to the EDM for the instrument itself. Once entered, simply hit the next button. Once in the backside screen, again you can hit the EDM button up the top right to change or select a different EDM mode and hit the cog symbol to change your 
distance measurement method or select a different prism type to be used. Again you can quickly check you've set up for 3DMC by hitting the magnet icon and making sure it has a tick. We will lock on to our back sight target by hitting the lock symbol and we will double check that we're setting the circle to the azimuth by hitting the little page icon and once everything is confirmed you can hit the measure button. If you are observing a back sight without a distance you can untick the measure distance button. You can scroll down the list to check your back sight has come in within tolerance and you can save out this as a report if you need to using the little page icon on the left. Once happy you can hit close and now your instrument has been set up ready for the grader and you just again need to hit the program button on the instrument and hit external link and now the instrument is now ready for communication with the grader. And that concludes the Magnet 5 how-to video for LPS setup.